This is yet another riveting story by Ablucus the Old. This one is about a particularly calamitous creature that you probably encounter on a regular basis, the pessimist. And thus, the story begins. In the whimsically topsy-turvy town of Bumbleton lived a man known to all as Worrywart Wilbur. Wilbur was a character of such profound pessimism that he could find a cloud in every silver lining, a storm waiting on the horizon of every sunny day. His unique ability to foresee disaster in the midst of bliss made him quite the local legend. The townsfolk often joked, if Wilbur's smiling, it's time to start dialing, the weather service that is. One fine, suspiciously sunny morning, Wilbur set out from his home, his steps weighed down by the dread of inevitable joy. For you see, Wilbur knew that he was a pessimist, and as everybody knows, a pessimist is someone who feels bad when they feel good, for fear that they will feel worse when they feel better. As he mended through the market, Wilbur stumbled upon a curious sight, a stand selling guaranteed happiness potions manned by none other than the town's eccentric inventor and occasional alchemist, Madcap Marvin. Marvin, with a twinkle in his eye, promised that each potion was a surefire way to happiness, without any side effects of subsequent sadness. How convenient, Wilbur rationalized to himself. Driven totally by intrigue, he decided to give it a try, if only to prove Marvin wrong. He purchased a potion, a bubbling concoction of glittering blue, and took a hesitant sip. Almost immediately, a smile began to form on his lips, much to his own horror. Oh no, Wilbur panicked. I feel good, but no, this is terrible. Now that I feel good, I'm feeling bad. Because what if this means I'll feel terrible later, if I'm feeling better later? Worse still, what if I just keep feeling better and better? That'll mean I'll always feel bad about the fact that I'll feel better. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Wilbur really was an expert pessimist. As he spiraled into his existential dilemma, the potion, true to Marvin's word, worked its magic. Wilbur began laughing at the absurdity of his own thoughts, a genuine, uncontrollable laughter that spread through the market like wildfire. The townsfolk, witnessing Wilbur's transformation, couldn't help but join in the laughter. Soon, Bumbleton was filled with the sounds of joy, a rare occurrence that even the local birds and pets seemed to participate in. Amid his laughter, Wilbur had a revelation. The fear of feeling worse had often stopped him from enjoying the good moments. Perhaps he thought the trick wasn't to avoid happiness for fear of future sorrow but to embrace the ridiculousness of worrying about such things in the first place. From that day forward, Worrywart Wilbur became a little less of a worrywart. While he still had his moments of pessimism, old habits die hard after all, he now faced them with a chuckle and the knowledge that sometimes feeling good was just that, feeling good. And as for the townsfolk of Bumbleton, they found a new pastime, watching Wilbur navigate his newfound optimism, a spectacle that was often as entertaining as it was heartwarming. In the end, Wilbur's journey taught everyone in Bumbleton a valuable lesson. Happiness, even if potentially fleeting, is worth the risk of future woes, especially if it brings a good laugh along the way. Sharing like, subscribe and comment.